Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, me and my sister's channel. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat really hurts. I actually am really sick right now. <clears throat> That's why I'm in bed in my jammies. Because my throat hurts. My head hurts. My stomach hurts. Yesterday, I threw up in class. Which, unfor unfortunately, um, last week, was Thanksgiving week, so we had a whole week off, and now I have to skip Monday and Tuesday, too. Hopefully not Wednesday, because we're going to go see Wanda, but <laughs> my voice is really deep, and it's not that great of quality this time, but if you didn't notice, I'm going to do a sketchbook tour, and I DIY'd this myself. Um, some pages were ripped out because I... I failed at them, and I know what you're thinking. Sketchbooks don't have to be. <coughs> <coughs> Perfect. Sorry. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna cough or something. Okay, they don't have to be perfect. <laughs> My eyes are watering. Okay, not crying. They're just watering. But they don't have to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. I even make sure with toilet paper I'm holding it right. It's really weird. Anyways, it has a little love good on the front, and then it has, like, my favorite saying from Harry Potter on the back. And it says, you're just as sane as I am. And I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Super overly obsessed. My dad jokes around that I need a therapist, but I actually don't think I do because, well, I'm obsessed. So... Some of these things are from videos. I'm actually self-teaching myself to be an artist. And I'm not taking any lessons because we are pretty poor. My family isn't the richest family ever. So <laughs> we can't afford stuff like that as much. I've been watching tutorials and stuff like that. And I'm having a sketchbook come in today. I don't know if it has came in or not. But it has like a little anime girl and it's supposed to be 100 pages. But this is just a mini one. I just finished it a second ago. And I was really excited to show you guys. So let's get on the first page. So I watched how to fill your sketchbook instead of just staring at it for hours not knowing what to do. One is you draw shapes and you make them come to life. You give them character. So right here I have a dog. I have a princess and a prince. I have Harry Potter with the Elder Wand. I have a French dude. I have so many things on here. And I got that from a video. And then this one's also a video, also from the same video of what to do in that just at the stare at the page. You draw scribbles and then you pretty much you just scribble on the paper and then color it in. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> How my throat hurts. I actually just went to the doctor like a couple hours ago and I got a swab in my mouth and they're actually testing to see if I have strep throat. Anyways, I think this turn piece turned out really good. This abstract art's pretty good. Um yeah. Sorry if you hear these snuffles in my voice, deep voice. As I said, I am dying. I feel like a zombie. You know, the huge. Um, This one's a keychain. I, I saw in a video that, like, you should make keychains sometimes when you don't know what to do. I made this little spider keychain. Don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of spiders, but I love animals, except for snakes alligators sharks and worms i have a huge fear of worms please comment down below if you do too because i it's, it's a weird condition i think it's because as a little kid i ate a worm that was dead and it went into my mind and made me fear worms it made me feel like they're gonna eat my face off just like i ate its face off but it was dead when i ate it i think my parents said it was a really long time ago but um, in the bathroom, there was actually a little black spider, and 
I named it Mr. Spider-Man. Yeah, and at one point I thought it was dead and I started freaking out, but yeah. I have an anxiety to dead animals. I love animals. My grandpa's a hunter and he killed a deer. My grandma told me and I was started welling up with tears. But you see, he killed deer to give food to people. So good for him. This is College Jalen. Look, there's like the little Harry Potter thing. There's like my hair. And you see, I'm not the, um, like a professional artist by any means. I'm not, as I said, professional. I, not the greatest, but I thought College Jalen would look somewhat like that drawing. This one I saw off of Fun to Draw, the channel. I really like their channel, so if you're watching this, I love your channel. May you, I think it is, may, something like that. But, um, <clears throat> I love her videos, and if you know her personally, or you like, watch her videos too, please comment down below that I like her there, because I don't know if my fans would just let me comment or something like that, but it's a cute little penguin that just hatched out of an egg. Um, she said it was based off of the one from Penguins of Madagascar. Yeah. I think. Little Hot Cocoa Mud Mug. Mug. I cannot talk right today, but that was also awful fun to draw. Okay, <laughs> this is my weirdest drawing in here. It's SpongeBob as a starfish. And it's Patrick as a, sp as a sponge. So they switch places. If you don't know, this is off of the show SpongeBob. I bet most of you know what that is. I really don't know a person who really doesn't at all. This one was also off of Fun to Draw. It's an aerial. Um... There's not much to say about it. I think this turned out really good. This might be my best one in here. Yeah. I tried doing an Elsa with the same eyes. This was not awful fun to draw. I just tried my best. And I went for it. The colors aren't right on her dress. The color scheme really isn't because um, I don't have the right supplies. You see, I do it with cheap supplies, so... Here's the little cupcake girl that says keep calm and eat cupcakes, even though this has the fun to draw eyes. Um, it's still my own piece, but I messed up on this eye and I put white out over it. And then while I think it was so a little wet, I did it again and it just smeared. And I don't want to put any more on, but here's like a purple thing and then the cupcake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is really stuffy. Okay. There's this beautiful girl with luscious blonde hair. I have two different types of yellows on here. I have a darker and a lighter one. Wearing a peace sign shirt, you know, to use. I draw a lot of people, so you'll see a lot of people throughout this book. It's me. Hi, Dad. You're interrupting my video. Sorry. So sorry for that rude interruption. Now back to the video where you will see a person of my own design that I made my own dress that's really cool. Designer and like fashion girl. I don't really have much to say about this. I was just drawing today. I'm watching the boss baby. Now I'm better to do. But I drew Harley Quinn with the same eyes as Ariel and Elsa. And it says good night on it. I, I've never watched Suicide Squad, and I don't think my parents will ever let me. But I, I, I've seen pictures of her. I think she looks pretty cool. She has some tears in her shirt. You know, the huge. We're on our second to last one, if you know what that means. Here's a little fun to draw piece sign. I watched a video. Here's like a little smile. 
I don't think I needed to watch the video. Like, I could have just looked at a picture. It was pretty easy. This one, I traced my hand, which is, like, not that great because I, I'm not good at tracing hands. And it has this um, nail polish called Blood Red. And it has, like, um, one of those things where you, like, wipe your nail and, like, it, you put the nail polish onto your nails. Um, yeah, and that's the last drawing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <coughs> um, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, guys.